In this tutorial, we will be discussing thermochemistry, primarily the nature of energy, which is including the definitions and the units. Even though chemistry is the study of matter, energy affects matter. Energy is anything that has the capacity to do work. Work is considered the force acting over a distance. So energy, which is work, is the force times distance. It's, uh, this is a lot similar, it's very similar to physical chemistry, physics. And this is where these definitions come from. Energy can be exchanged between objects through contact, such as collisions. You can think of energy as the quantity an object can possess, or, collect of or a collection of objects. You can think of heat and work as two different ways that an object can exchange energy with other objects, either out of it or into it. So, different classifications of energy. Kinetic energy is the energy of motion, or energy that is being transferred. Thermal energy is an example of kinetic energy. Let's see here. When we're playing pool, you have the energy due to motion, and then it hits another ball, and it transfers that energy, and that energy moves the ball into the hole. The other classification of energy is potential energy, which is energy that is stored in an object or energy associated with the composition or position of an object. Energy stored in the structure of a compound is potential, so we're talking about the bonds or the energy in the electrons, things along those lines. Gravitational potential energy is when you drop something and the potential turns to kinetic. Energy cannot be created nor destroyed. Instead, it exchanges between objects. Energy can also be transformed from one form to another. For instance, it can go from heat to light to sound. In our homes, we have energy that changes from gasoline when we at the power plants to electricity to light when we turn on the light. So here, we have potential energy from the spring pushing down. But then once that hand is released, the ball starts to move and it turns into kinetic. So let's look at some forms of energy. Electrical is the kinetic energy associated with the flow of electrical charge. We saw electricity and uh, the ions traveling from one particle to another, the movement of electrons for semiconductors and things like that. Heat or thermal energy, kinetic energy associated with molecular motion. Light or radiant energy, kinetic energy associated with energy transitions in an atom. Nuclear, potential energy in the nucleus of the atom. And chemical, potential energy due to the structure of the atom. The attachment between atoms, the atoms re relative position to each other in the molecule, or the molecules relative position in the structure. We define the system as the materials or process of the con that contains the energy changes we are studying. So the system is what we're actually looking at. We define the surroundings as everything else in the universe. What we study is the exchange of energy between the system and the surroundings, so the system giving off energy or the system absorbing energy. Let's take a minute to discuss the units of energy. As I said before, it's very closely related to physics. The amount of kinetic energy an object has is directly proportional to the mass, which is m, and the velocity, which is v. When the mass is in kilograms and the velocity is in meter seconds, meters per second. The units for this is kilograms meters per second squared. Let's take a look at that again. So we have kinetic energy is equal to one half mass times velocity squared. So the mass is the kilograms 
the velocity is meters per second, and we're going to square them to be meters squared per second squared. One joule of energy is the amount of energy needed to move one kilogram mass at the speed of one meters per second. To give you an idea of what one kilogram of mass would be, um, a pineapple would be approximately a kilogram. A, an average textbook would be a, the weight of a kilogram. Um, things along those lines. That gives you kind of an idea. A joule is the amount of energy needed to move one kilogram mass a distance of one meter. So one joule, one newton meter, so newtons is kilograms meters per second squared. And then this is if you had all the base units. Remember, these are derived units that are derived from the base units. One calorie is the amount of energy needed to raise one gram of water one degree Celsius. Notice the lowercase c, that's important because when it's an uppercase C, it's referring to kilocalories, which are food calories. A kilocalorie is the energy needed to raise 1,000 grams of water one degree Celsius. So when we talk about calories, when we look at box labels, we're looking at food calories, which is kilocalories. So here's some conversion factors. One calorie is equal to 4.184 joules. One big C is equal to 1,000 calories, little c. One kilowatt hour is 3.6 times 10 to the 6 joules. And here's a little bit of reference for you just to put things in perspective. So the amount of energy required to do one gram of water one degree Celsius, while well, a joule is 4.18, Calories, that's the definition of calories, so it's going to be 1. It would be 0 .001 in food calories and 1.16 times 10 to the negative 6 in kilowatts. 100 watt light bulb for one hour. 3.6 times 10 to the fifth. That's 360,000 joules. Calories. 86,000 calories. In kilocalories, that would be 86. In kilowatts, it would be 0.1 kilowatt per hour, which makes sense because 100 watts and it's kilowatt. Energy used to run one mile approximately. 100 calories in food, but in joules, that comes out to be 420,000 calories. Energy used by average U.S. citizen in one day. Nine hundred million joules in, cal in food calories. Two hundred and twenty thousand food calories. Now that's not talking about our bodies, that's talking about our electricity and gasoline and stuff. So that gives you some references on how to relate the energies, uh, energy units to one another and a background of what energy is.